Jennifer, would you like to share your experience? Are you going through a, a regular transaction right now? Yeah, sure. I'm going through the process of purchasing property in Citrus Springs. And this is with Southern Impressions. And yeah, the builder incentives are very good. And also like the personnel at Southern Impressions have been very good to work with, very easy to work with and helpful. I did have to have a couple of changes made in my IRA situation and I had to also reconsider and re-strategize, but Southern Impressions was still very responsive and patient and helpful. Yeah. So far I've, yeah been very pleasantly surprised with them. Jennifer, did you find it through your IRA? Yes, I did. And okay. I think the change in that situation was that instead of being able to put down 40 or 50%, that now the, through my self-directed IRA, I, there, there's a tighter, there's a smaller limit to how much they can fund. And I had to put down 70%, right? 70%. 70 yeah. That's unfortunate, but it's still worth it. Southern Impressions was very accommodating through these changes. And are these rules are federal rules or anything or particular with the builder? With the IRA? Yes. That's with the lender that would be lending through the self-directed IRA, but I suspect that those are more institutional uh, practices. And I think we had also looked at another lender that had similar changes in their policies as well. Yeah. What Jennifer is trying to say is She's buying a single family home, new constructions in Citrus Springs, which is one hour north of Tampa, $254,000, completed home, like 1,400 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, very nice new construction for 254K. And she put in, Jennifer is putting, it is very, it's a very specialized strategy. A lot of you may not have ever heard of it. Something I do, I've been doing a lot. I've been con consulting a lot over the years. In this case, the current underwriting requirement Today's lending environment is such that Jennifer, she had to put 70% down on a self of the IRA and 30% down non recourse loan, 30% from a non recourse lender, which is 8.5% interest rate on that non recourse loan. But still, at the end of the day, the big picture is since this IRA is a long term buy and hold scenario for the next 10, 20 years, in the case of Jen's goals and objective, she feel okay with that because Stretching the purchase price additional 30%, even though the non recourse lending is a little bit more expensive than usual, it's still worth it because she's using the power of leverage above and beyond the, the 70%. Otherwise, she would not be able to qualify to buy $264,000 property with a full IRA. She's getting the best of both worlds and she understands the strategy. Jen and I had a discussion about her strategy, it works for her. I'm glad that you took my advice and you'll be fine long-term. You are very disciplined. You're very dedicated. It is a long-term investment. 